x and y are integers such that x squared minus y squared equal to x, y, find the value of x and y. Okay, so here I can see that we write the equation here. We take all things to the left hand side. It will be x squared plus xy minus y squared equal to zero. And I consider it as a quadratic function in terms of x. It means what? If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now I want to read for the equation. But here we have, so I say in this case, a equal to one coefficient of x squared, b is y and c equal to negative y squared. And if I calculate x, it will be negative b negative y plus my square root of b squared y squared minus four ac, which will be one minus four, four a is one, C is negative y squared all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. If we simplify, it will be negative y plus minus square root of 4y squared plus y squared will be 5y squared over 2. Now, let's multiply both sides by 2. It will be 2x equal to negative y plus minus square root of y y squared. If you take negative y to right hand side, it will be 2x plus y equal to root 5 y squared. We know it is integer. So left hand side is integer, right hand side should be integer. Because it is integer, so 5 y squared should be a perfect square. 5 y squared should be a perfect square, said the square. The only possible case for here, because look, it is perfect to square it is also perfect to square. So if you want to consider the only possible case, my claim is y should be zero. Why? Because if y is not zero, let me write it here. Suppose y is not zero. Five y squared equal to z squared. If y is not zero, then you can divide by y squared because y is not zero. Five equal to z squared over y squared, and we know z and y are integers. And it will be z over y squared. So we know that it is impossible because 5 is not a perfect square. So contradiction, impossible. So the only possible case is when y equal to 0. If we replace y equal to 0, x squared minus y squared equal to xy. If y is 0, then x squared is 0, and also we conclude x is 0. So we found only one answer here, x and y, both of them are zero. So if you want to learn except quadratic formula, other formulas, ideas, you can send a message to my number, WhatsApp number in the description, also in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.